right, love and light, Gemini, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Um, someone here could be going away, like they could be taking a trip, okay? Someone could be getting in the car and getting ready to travel somewhere, could be towards you. For some of you guys, I feel like somebody could be getting ready to actually like go to prison. Someone could have just gone to jail. Someone here is thinking about relocating and going somewhere, okay? So for some of you guys, somebody's definitely going somewhere else, okay? They're leaving the place where they are, where they have, where they're home. Somebody may have quit their job and they're like, I'll find another job in the net, uh, in this new city. Someone here could work in security. Someone here could work in corrections, okay? Some, I mean, law enforcement or something. If that is, that's just for some of you guys, okay? So let's see what else is going on. That's the energy that came out in the pre-show full. All right. Someone here is miserable, okay? Somebody here is saying that they're okay, they're doing all right, and they're not all right. Despite the pain that they're in, and I feel like there's another energy here, which this could be you. I really feel like this is your energy collective. You're in an energy of, I don't want any drama in my life. Don't come near me and towards me if it's got anything to do with chaos or drama or any sort of like codependency issues, love bombing, any of that, right? You know, you want to be courted. You appreciate when somebody like opens doors, you know, chivalry, right? You're looking for, and this could be this, you know, vice versa. If you're a male, you want to be courted too. You want to feel needed and wanted and yearned for and nurtured. So this is telling me that somebody here didn't nurture you when they had you. You're not, yeah, you're not with this person anymore. Yeah, somebody here had to walk away or is getting ready to walk away. From something okay someone here may have unexpectedly had to walk away from you and you were hoping that you would have you know communicated with this person by now um, you know this person also too wants to confide in you and tell you about why they are the way that they are there's something from this person's childhood Someone has issues like from their childhood, some trauma, okay? And I'm not saying that what this person, is, you know, their behavior now is, is justifiable, but like, I feel like a very heavy energy of someone here, someone's childhood had a big influence on their behavior and it's created a lot of toxic behavior in their, um, this is someone here who I feel like is overcompensated and they're over masculine. They feel like if they have a million, if they sleep with a million people or the more people they can sleep with collective, the better for them. There are more of them that they mean, they think that means it's being a man, right? Or being a true masculine, you know, and I feel like they're realizing, no, that's not the case. That was all there something that happened to them traumatic from their childhood. You know, I feel like this person wants to talk to you. They have a lot of things that they want to say, but because the trust is broken between the two of you, they don't think you're going to believe them. They don't think you're going to listen. All right. Let's get some more energy out here. Yeah, this person, I'm telling you, for some of you all, they ghosted you. They ran. This could be a twin flame energy. They ran because they weren't ready for you. They were still in this toxic energy. And the reason they had this toxic energy, that makes sense. That's why I just had to explain that energy and why that was coming up. Um, this person definitely is hoping that they can run into you one day, that you will listen to them because they they're so afraid to actually contact you they're so afraid this person's too afraid to contact you for some of you all you may have this person on block and they can't or they don't they they feel like you're just not going to listen to anything that they have to say they don't they feel like you're not going to believe it they want to apologize and they're really struggling right now and they really really need your forgiveness they really need your forgiveness because i feel like this person is going through a lot right now yeah Forgiveness is a, you know what's so crazy, you guys? I feel like forgiveness is a thing for the both of y'all, especially if this is your twin and y'all are twinning, okay? 
you you have some deep seated I'm just going to keep it real. That's the energy that's here. Both of y'all are mirroring this thing when it comes to forgiveness and letting go. I really do feel like that. Hmm. It's like communication is on pause between you and this person. They're not saying a lot. There's not a lot of conversation. This person is doing a lot of thinking, though. A lot of thought. They're in this eight of swords, nine of swords energy here. Yeah, this person wants to know if there's a second chance. All right? Is there a second chance? They want to know, will you listen to them? Will you allow them to make things up to you? You know... This person allowed for some of y'all other people to influence the things that they were doing and influence how they dealt with you, which is crazy as hell to me. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're an adult. We're all adults here. Like, we can think for ourselves. ourselves. We can make our own choices and our own decisions. And I feel like for some of you all, this person left you on red. It's almost like this person may have some, this person, like I was saying earlier, this person thought the more partners they had or the more, the more people that they were sleeping with, male or female, this made them more masculine or gave them some form of control or power, you know, and that was being a man or that was being masculine. And especially if they like ghosted you, left you on red or like they did that to control the situation and try to manipulate it, try to, you know... Or they have some friends telling them, giving them this crazy, stupid ass advice, like you know, don't I? If if you leave the collective on red, don't respond right away, you know, or you know, don't talk with them because you know they act like they're too good for you anyway. You should be over there entertaining Keisha and um, Carmisha them, you know. Th that's who you, you know, the stripper who. And I'm not talking down on strippers, but I feel low key like somebody may have had a stripper showing them some attentions, and their boys was like convincing them. You know, <laughs> yeah, this person is heartbroken, though. They're fed up. They're fed up with the situation. All right. Three of swords energy, I'm telling you. For some of y'all, this person has a family. Okay. Some of y'all, this person is with the karmic that they're with is somebody they have kids with. Yeah. Show me, let's, let me, let me get some information on this family situation. Show me this family, clarify family, please. Clarify family. Yeah, there's drama going on over here in a, in a situation. Okay, if they're with somebody and they're staying with somebody or they're living with this person, they, even if they're in the same house with this person or sleeping next to them, they feel alone. This person is very broken hearted right now. They're sad. Hey, even if they are surrounded by lots of people, they just, you know, they're tired of pretending like they're not heartbroken over you and they don't miss you. They're tired of acting and pretending like there's nothing wrong with them. This person I feel like is driving them crazy because they're seeing all these signs and synchronicities around them. They're like continuously being reminded of you, of reminded of your energy here. But it's almost like this person refuses to release and surrender and do what spirit is telling them to do because release and surrender came out here in reverse. This person was not willing to release and purge and let go of this family situation. And so now it's almost like they're in this energy of like, okay, this could be divine intervention. Somebody could be going through a tower moment here. Somebody here is reaching their breaking point, I feel like. Somebody's reaching their breaking point. And now they're ready to eliminate this situation and break it off. All right. Show me more here about this situation. Ooh. Definitely some eight of swords, nine of swords energy. A little bit of paranoia here. Somebody's going through some paranoia. 
this could just be your person um okay hold on i'm getting a couple things here this person can't stop thinking about you for some of y'all this is somebody here who used to like stare at you used to be like what are you looking at um but this person, when they see you, they think about you so much. I really just feel like this is just an energy of like daydreaming and just thinking this, I'm telling you, this person is definitely in their head, in their head, like a lot um, to the point where it's driving this person insane. I'm just telling you, somebody here could have changed their phone number or they maybe you changed your phone number. Somebody here is trying to get in touch with you or they're not able to get in touch with you. Okay, they definitely want to have some form of communication here. Interesting. For some of y'all, this is real bitter energy here. I'm just going to tell you that this ener this is not for everybody. Okay, this is somebody crying. This is somebody here who has a really big ego, but they're just really insecure. This is something an insecure person would do. To get your attention, for some of y'all, this is not for everybody. This person would change their number or something crazy and then thought you were supposed to come run behind them or they could have blocked you and they thought you were going to run behind them, but you didn't run behind them. This person was trying to push you to see how far you cared. That is the most like... That's not for everybody, but that is real crazy. Like... How immature do you have to be? It backs it backfired on them. Yeah, you were like, what? Like you didn't even know how to react. Look at this. WTF WTF. Don't even know how to react. You didn't even know how to react to the situation. You were like, what the hell? Okay, well, bye. <laughs> it's crazy. This is so crazy. I'm telling you, this person had friends or family trying to keep you apart. This person definitely allowed people to manipulate them into ghosting you or not talking to you. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> Boy, I tell you. Mm, mm, mm. This person, I'm telling you, had a lack of self-esteem due to their upbringing. I told y'all that. I told y'all that. But the, the thing is, they're realizing it. This person is actually realizing they have some things that they need to heal. Um, and they're seeing their actions and they're seeing what was wrong, right? They're realizing that they were a cheater for sure. Somebody here done got busted cheating. Because mm, 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 mm. you know why? This person thinks the more partners they have, the more options they have, the more people they sleep with, the more it makes you to be like this man. Like it makes you like somehow, some way this person thinks it's good when you do that. Yeah, hidden sexual secrets. Hidden sexual secrets. Some of y'all, this person is going to get a massage and doing some other stuff with you. I don't know. Could be going to somebody's house or they were. I don't I don't really know what this is about. Here's what's so crazy about it. While this person has all this hid these hidden secrets, they low key, they want to be a family with you. They see a future with you, a long term with you, but how are they gonna be doing that if they're in this energy. They're going to have to be honest and they're definitely going to have to heal. This person is definitely trying to run into you unexpectedly. I'm telling y'all. So be careful with that because I feel like you're, this person is trying to run into you. This person really, <laughs> really wants to see you. Like really bad. Okay, show me, show me what else here. For the collective. Yeah, definitely some drama going on here. This is some, some form of spiritual warfare here too, okay? For some of y'all, this, this person is going through some form of spiritual warfare and that could include karma being an issue here. Somebody is going through a bunch of chaos and drama in their life right now. This person is one step away from having a mental breakdown. Especially if they're with somebody else. Yeah, look at this. Especially if they're with their, they have a family with somebody else. Look at this in, divine masculine energy. Firestorm. 
karma, drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown. Yeah, this person has such a toxic lifestyle. Didn't I tell you? It's like the more people you hang out with, the more people you sleep with, the more options you have. Like this person feels like this lifestyle makes you look better or makes you more popular or something. I don't know. There's something about this divine masculine's lifestyle that has to change. Yeah, karmic, karmic ties. This person has some a, a karmic that they need to let go of or the shit that they are they are doing is extremely karmic. Do they love you? Yes, they do. And you know this person is karmic as hell. Like, the, the things that they're doing. Yeah. I told you this person is just like eight and eight of swords, nine of swords energy here. They're losing sleep because all they all they do is to think about you. And also, too, I feel like this is not just about you. This this uh, divine masculine is thinking about all the stupid shit that they did, how they showed up. Thank you for the confirmation. Okay, losing sleep in their feelings, very emotional, about to lose their shit. You know, going through an ego death in a down, a down, like just spiraling out of control because of these habits. This behavior got this person where they are and they're realizing that now. And so now this person's like deep in the gutter and they gotta try to dig their, themselves out. Ooh, somebody slept with somebody at work. Some of y'all, maybe you, you, um, you were used to work with this person somehow, some way, or this person had a workplace affair. Maybe they cheated on you with somebody that they worked with. Uh, but again, more energy of them ghosting you, like lacking communication, avoiding accountability, avoiding apologizing, avoiding telling the truth, blaming other people for their behavior and their own toxic, awful decisions, their own toxic lifestyle, these karmic ties that they tied themselves to. Um, they just, I feel like they left you on red. They left you hanging. Or for some of y'all, they may feel like you left them hanging. You know, this masculine, I, yeah, they're a sex addict. Thank you, spirit. This person is a sex addict. Definitely, like I said earlier, the more people you sleep with, apparently this person glamorizes that. They use that to, like, quant qualify who they are. Or, I don't, this is weird. You know, this is sad, honestly. This person doesn't see their true worth. Someone here is, I feel like, going through, yeah, this person misses you terribly. You hear me? They are losing sleep over this loss. They feel like they're losing at life in general right now. I feel like this person's life is upside down. They're just like having money problems. Maybe somebody here had to take on an extra job or work extra hours. They spent the money doing this crazy stuff. Yeah. This person is under a lot of pressure to fix things like right now. They're, they they know their time is running out. That's why they feel they're feeling like this anxiety and they're about to lose their shit. That's why, because they feel like they're about to run out of time. They know it's just a matter of time. Some of y'all might already be like, you may have already moved on, but they feel like it's just a matter of time before you you do you do move on. Yeah, this person knows. I'm telling you, this person was... King of Wands, it could have been dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or Capricorn um, here, especially with all this toxic energy. Um, a lot of uh, eight of nines, eight of swords, nine of swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. But you can be dealing with anyone. Uh, definitely could be dealing with the Sagittarius for some of you guys. But like this person was so selfish and stubborn. Like this person's pride and ego is just awful. I'm telling you, this is somebody who. Some of y'all, they may smoke cigarettes here, but you see how this man is dressed? They've got on these glasses, these shades, 
you know, this is somebody here who may have hung out, party, go to strip clubs, or whatever. They feel like the more they may have had a little change in their pocket, you know what I'm saying? But I feel I feel like they threw that change away that they did have into the being at the strip club and courting people who were temporary and karmic, you know what I'm saying? And they slept with them and then the, these people may have used them and abused them and, and now they, they're broke and yeah, they're now they're yeah, this person, so you showing this person, you're giving this person a lesson in self-love. You're giving this person a, le a lesson in self-love, literally. Mm -hmm. This person's getting readings on you and they're not happy with what they're seeing because they feel like the information that's being provided to them is like the the reader is telling them that you're getting ready to move on or you already have been moved on they missed the boat they missed the train that's what the reader is telling them and they're not happy with i'm telling you what they're hearing and what's being said mm -mm. you may be a tarot reader or you may have some form of um spiritual gifts here Twin flame, yeah, I'm telling you, this person's definitely obsessed with you and most likely watching you too. They're not going to let you go. You see, I, I'm going to show you this energy of like the, um, this person is not happy with what they're hearing here. When they get the information from the reader, they're not happy about what they're hearing. Okay. They feel like this is the final goodbye. They do. Some of y'all, like I said, could have been dealing with a twin flame. I feel like this person ran and then you may have chased after them a few cycles and then you left it alone. You stopped because this looks very chaotic. I think you were done with that. You didn't want any more. You didn't want to have anything to do with it anymore, obviously. And you're moving on. And so now this person's getting readings on you and the reader is just telling them that the collective has new love coming in. Collective is healing. They've moved on. Collective does not want anything else to do with anything toxic. You just, you just don't. Show me more here. Uh oh, sorry. King of Cups. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And the Hierophant. This is a spiritual connection. The Tower. The, the connection was meant for you both to learn a lesson. We know this. It was meant for you two to both be rebuilding. Okay? To be rebuilding and healing. Um... Inner childhood wounds, like I said, the trauma from childhood, you know, the uh, the Queen of Cups is here in the upright, but the King of Cups is here in reverse. This person was manipulative, you know, King of Cups in reverse. This person was so manipulative. I feel like this person turned their back, this masculine turned their back on yeah and i honestly i feel like you turned your back on them too because this look at the queen of cups this is the side that came out upright this is the queen of cups your back is turned you're sitting in this chair you turn your back to this masculine that that's here uh in their shadow self in reverse distorted masculine you're like nope no thank you this is the other side of the card I feel like this person, spirit, spirit had enough of this person's drama and this person's BS. Cause even the hair fine, spirit said, you didn't listen to me. So I'm going to have to bring in the tower, divine intervention. Okay. Here's the hair fine with his back turn. And then there's a baby right here too. You know what I'm saying? Someone here. Spirit is like, you know what? You, I told you to heal your inner child. You didn't do it. So guess what? I'm going to leave you here to learn a lesson. And the lesson is going to be harsh. These people are going up and going out in flames. And you see this lightning is coming down, striking this tower. So whoever this person is with the whole house, especially some of them, and they have a family or, you know, whatever. I feel like that everybody's affected by this karma. 
Everybody here is affected by this karma. This is somebody here is in scarce, scarce mode. That could be why somebody's working so much. You know, or got another job or picking up a side hustle or something. You know, somebody here is not happy with their money in their pockets right now. They're not happy with the situation. They're not happy with they with their with their finances. Things is looking real bare around there. And I feel like this masculine is like, oh shit, what do I do? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know what's going on here? This mask is coming off. Somebody's being forced. Somebody's being forced to see the truth. That whatever this situation was, was false, right? Whatever this person, how this person viewed and believed life to be, how they view what a true masculine was supposed to be, that is all crumbling down. This person is finding out this is not real. That's not your, the way you're supposed to be living. They're being forced to look at themselves in the mirror. Um, let's get a few more messages. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Taurus energy, and Scorpio energy is here. Yeah. This baby is holding the key. This baby's holding a key. Okay, so the inner child, the key is to healing the inner child. So that's what this masculine is going to have to do. There's not going to be an easy way around this. There, there's no easy way around. There's no other way around this. This is what's going to have to happen. That's, this is what this masculine is being forced to do. Yeah, karmic ties. My, ch my children or your children need to come first and trust that they are part of our plan. Or, or this is your inner child needs to come first. And that's exactly what this is. I feel like another card with somebody has a baby on it. Maybe someone does have a child here. You know, we do have a family situation involved for this masculine. Or for, like I said, for a lot of you guys. This uh, could be their inner child. They have a lot of karmic ties here. Past influences from another past life is affecting this person, the karma that this person is getting now. Their inner childhood trauma, um, you know, the trauma that they experienced. That's another thing that's influencing their decisions that they're making and the way that they act. Um, and I feel like in another lifetime, this person, you and your twin didn't get it right then. That's why you're back at it again, trying to get it right. But I feel like Divine Feminine, you finally got it right. And you realize this person was not going to get it right. So you let it go. And, you know, unfortunately, you got to allow this person to be in the grief, sit in the grief. I think they're sitting in this grief right now, from what I can tell. And they're starting to realize things. And then now they're realizing, you know, the self-love. Um, that's what they got to do. They got to start making some different decisions here. You know, one of us is sad or angry and it's creating an energetic match in frequency with each other. Stay conscious of this if possible and try to help us, uh, elevate it. So you could be feeling that your twins energy right now, you know, you could be feeling like, why am I, you know, feeling sad or, you know, or I can't sleep or whatever. Like that's not your energy. That, that, that could be your twins energy here. You marry each other. Cause this person is definitely sad and angry. I feel like they're feeling a bunch of emotions right now. Um, this person is tired of living in fear. Fear is an only, this person is realizing fear is only an illusion. Yeah. Because this this tower is, you know, really spank the shit out of them. From what I can see, this person is, knows that they're going to have to leave their comfort zone in order for this to work. You're definitely mirroring each other. I told you. Look at this. Mirrors. Mirrors. I love that. Separated or together, we are working in tandem with each other. Okay. So, you know, for those of you who want to reconcile with this person, I don't, you know, I feel like the only action I saw here was someone wanting to either travel towards you or they're moving, they're getting ready to move, um, or them popping up and trying to run into you. You know what I mean? But that's it. I don't really see anything else because they're still going through this dark night of the soul in this tower, you know? 
Yeah. That's going to be the reading at the light button, you guys. I'll see y'all later, okay?